Ancash region of Peru, outside of Huaraz, its capital, we drive towards Conochoco with truck traffic from copper mines and haciendas. At three hours, halfway, we stop for lunch in Chiquian, doorway to Huayhuash Range. All along, we admire the shimmering glaciated summits of the Cordillera Blanca. Their highest point, Huascaran, is over 22,000 feet. After three days of preparatory day hiking above 12,000 feet, we are taken comfortably by private hire van to the traditional village of Pokopa. Tents go up in an elementary school soccer field. This facility is thanks to government programs to improve the region's education. It was a haunt of the Marxist terrorists' shining path, now essentially defunct. Day two, before the mule team and cook have finished packing and loading the eight burrows, we depart camp with David, our guide. The landscape is treeless to a large extent. The place is an expansive alpine pasture land where graze horses, sheep, cows, and llama. Our 10-day loop remains entirely above 12,500 feet for all camps. In addition, we cross six passes over 15,000. As for each day, our team cook, who is a stocky woman and a natural entertainer, whips up storms of fresh eggs, hearty cereals, salads, quinoa delights, and the best fresh-caught brown trout. By day three, we notice the thinner air. It leads to a high altitude joke by the cook. With ethyl alcohol, she lit her hand on fire in the cook tent. Unscathed, her laughter roared. Thin gases burn cold, she said. Communities levy passage fees. It offsets the impact that tourism has on their pasture land. It also buys safety for rescues. A woman in a group of young foreigners takes ill at the Ciula Punta Pass. We think she bonked. Nothing to do with elevation, but caution was not exercised by their guide. The mule drivers are humble, avoid eye contact at first. They are brothers, both sons of a mule driver family. Their animals appear well cared for, almost cute. It's five-star accommodations in Vikonga camp. 
with General Store and Hot Springs. David, our guide, stays up drinking and storytelling all night. His unsteady pace betray the indulgence as we cross Cayuc Pass, the highest at 16,000. Weird mushroom and columnar igneous rocks are phenomenal sights. Day 8. The trend is down at first to the valley of Rio Calinca, whose headwaters issue from Ciula Grande, its enormous west face home of Joe Simpson epic, touching the void. Flowers abound. Walrus rock in frosty shadows as we leave Huatiak camp, admiring the nearby lesser greats such as Ankum Kancha, Raju Kolota, and Rasak. This second to last day we cross two passes, Tapush and Lauka both above 15,000 feet. From this last camp at Lake Jahuacocha, we leave these mountains.